now I wanted to show you how to publish a service, a service definition file, which you can then hand off to IT people who can publish to ARC server. So I'm going to walk through those steps as well. Um, the service definition file, again, you go to File, Share as Service. And in this dialog, you want to now select the, section, the second option, to Save a Service Definition File. So we select that, and we'll move forward. You want to say there's no available connection. This will be set up in Arc Server Manager. And then give it the server the service name. Now the service definition file saves everything about your map, everything that you set up for the layers, the data frame properties, the map document properties, it saves it all in this file so that somebody who doesn't really know the map can can publish it and it looks exactly how you want it to be. So I'm going to just change the location of where this gets saved. And continue. And once again, this will bring up the service editor dialog. And I'm going to show you a little shortcut to get you those options that we enabled previously. You can see we don't have WMS checked um, by importing a the, the information from either a service that's already published or a service definition file. This is perfect to do when you're updating map services that you already have published or you already know the parameters that you want to use in here. So you can, you can import it from an existing service definition file or you can also import it from a published service. I'm going to use the service definition file and click import and now you can see this actually says 10,000 um, within the capabilities. Um, so everything's checked off as I've wanted, and in here as well, you can now see all our meta information. We don't have to manually type because we use the import option. So it's a good trick to use. So I just do one last check of going through and making sure everything does look okay, and then once again, you analyze you fix any of the errors, and then you can stage. So it says it was successful, that it created the service definition file. Now either you can hand that off to your IT people, or if you prefer to publish things through your own server manager, you can log in and do it that way as well. So within server manager. I'm going to log in. Select the folder that you want to publish to. And a lot of this is all the same, just different interface. Go to publish service. You select your service definition file. Click next. And everything that was in that service definition file comes over to here. So I'm just going to continue to just click through these as it's already been set up. So within your server manager, there are you know, the different folders that you can publish to that get translated out to your REST. Here, if you go to services, these are the folders that you can see in here. You can stop your services. You can reconfigure them in here. You can delete them. You can see this one still being published. If you go inside of a service, you can get to all that information once again in here. So the WMS, these are the two things that I put in to that, in that previous service that we created. So it's published. You can also get to um, statistics within your ARC server manager and how your data is being used. So in the Marine Cadastro folder, we now have the demo to created. And it's basically the same information. This actually came across from that service definition that I imported. It has a bit of our caveat in it. Um, 
So once again, all the information is there. And...